Well, it looks like there's only one man in Hollywood that gets it. And if there's more than one man in Hollywood that gets it, I'd like to see a point out someone besides this guy. Hey, everybody, Brickhouse here. And um, Tom Cruise, whether you like him, whether you don't like him, whether you like his movies, whether you don't like his movies, you have to admit He's one of the few people in Hollywood that I, my opinion of him is, is that he's actually real. Set the Scientology stuff aside, set the wacko stuff aside, set the crazy behavior aside. He at least comes across as real. Now, Mission Impossible's coming out in July. Dead Reckoning Part 1. Um, I came across this article on bounding into comics and it, th this, this in my eyes is a plus. This is a positive. This is what should be coming out of Hollywood, but won't at all. Well, except if Tom Cruise is involved. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Tom Cruise reveals getting moviegoers invested in characters and story is primary to him and his team. Notice. Invested in characters and story, not woke ideology, not um, politics, not gender identity, none of the BS and crap that's being put out there, especially by you, Disney, um, that's coming out of Hollywood. Actor Tom Cruise recently shared that getting moviegoers invested in the characters and the story of his films is primary to him and his production team. That's exactly what he did with Top Gun Maverick. That's what he's going to do with the next Mission Impossible movie, Dead Reckoning Part 1. Cruise spoke with Fandango about the upcoming Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 film where he was asked the amount of joy he personally gets from the more quiet moments of the film. He answered all of it. You know, I love all the moments. I have to say all of those moments. And also when I see the other, the other actors and we're constantly working with them too, what I love in movies, I want vivid characters. It's not about me about the story and it's about how do we tell the story to engage an audience into an emotional story and a character journey cruise relayed and there's there and there's this other other stuff that we that we have cruise went on the amount of time that we spend finding the story finding those moments with the characters and not just for myself but the actors and developing that stuff that's what engages me and then I want to thrill the audience also with these other things. Because if you don't have that, it doesn't matter how big it is if I'm not invested in the story and invested with the characters. And that is primary for us, he declared. And he is 100% spot on the notes. I don't know about you guys. I go to the movies... To be entertained. I like to go to movies that tell a story. Not. Identity politics. Not. Woke BS. Not non-binary characters. I just want to see a movie that tells a good story and be entertained and forget about reality for the two, two and a half, whatever hours that I'm in the theater. Or even here at home. If I'm streaming something on Prime or Netflix or whatever the case. Max. Cruz then elaborated. It's just movies and why I want to see movies. I want to care about the people. I want to be interested in the world. I want to be interested in those people. That is movies. I'm using all of the skills and the things that I love in cinema 
and all of the dramatic and comedic and all those films and character development that we have and we're looking and I'm developing that with all the actors and then putting it all we're doing is putting it putting a big landscape on top of all that that's all he illustrated he rhetorically asked from any other kind of movie that I've done how do you have that emotion while you're juggling how do you have that Cruzan specifically touched on Dead Reckoning Part 1 the thing with this movie that I, when you're looking at the Fiat and you're looking at Haley and I, we're playing those scenes in a two shot. Now, we don't have a bunch of takes that we can do. Those characters have to be connected and you have to find those moments like that. Cruz snaps his fingers. And that kind of skill to be able to play that kind of moment and comedy that normally I get to have in a Jerry Maguire or a Rain Man or a cocktail where you have that. You're on the ground doing that. We're doing it at high speed and having it feel organic because it is organic. It's happening now. But you have to have actors that first, we have to get them used to that kind of speed and that kind of pace and that kind of action now he added. He then shared an example from the film, the scene on the train. It's like, you trust me? No. Those kind of character moments that are real, that invest me in these people, and that's the thing. I mean, he's got, he's got me right there. I am looking, so looking forward to when this movie comes out. I've liked the other Mission, Mission Impossible movies. From the very first one, all the way up through, I think the last one was what, Ghost Protocol? I think. I don't remember. I've watched them all, and I've seen, I've seen them progress, and each one has gotten better than the previous, in my opinion. I'm going to go a little bit deeper in the article here where he talks about its character development, but it's the whole story. It's every actor in there. You know, he detailed when you're casting the actors, we're looking at them going, okay, how do I celebrate their talent? Which is in old Hollywood, they would look at people and it's like they built performances for them. That's what I do. If you look at my movies all the way back to when I was a young actor, you look at risky business, you look at a few good men, you look at Rain Man. You look at those, you look at these movies, my taste and my development is looking at actors and celebrating them and that it's us together. Where do I put that camera? How do I write these lines? How do, how do we develop it in a manner that is immersive for the audience? That's key. That is key because then you're seeing all these great characters. Those are the kind of movies that I love, and those are the kind of movies that I try to and aspire to make, Cruz concluded. Earlier in the interview, Cruz, Cruz claimed that after every movie he screens, he looks at it and says he can make the next one better. He said, we can do better, not just every Mission Impossible movie. Every movie we make, I look at it, and I watch, and I say, we can do better. Audience was, will find out if he busted himself when Mr. Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 arrives in theaters on July 12th, 2023, and I cannot wait. So tell me what you guys think. What do you think of Tom Cruise's comments about being, getting moviegoers, getting fans, getting patrons invested in the characters and the story Comment down below, tell me what you think. And while you're at it, please take the time to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, share this video out with your friends and family. I know there's a lot of crap coming out of Hollywood, but I tell you, like him or hate him, Tom Cruise is a movie star. He's probably the last movie star we have coming out of Hollywood.
uh hit the notification bell to sh to get notified when this video goes live on youtube you can also catch me over on rumble and odyssey and as always i thank you for taking the time to watch for tuning in and i will see you later Thank <laughs> you.